So remember years ago when you got your first camera and you're like, oh my God, I'm an artist now. And you're like, I gotta go out and take some art pictures. So you walk around, you go to the local park, and as you're exploring this park, trying to make your, get your footwork in on the art world, you discover a bench aimed out, looking at something distant. And you're like, wow, this is deep. I need to photograph this. Well, that's what I'm feeling right now is I've discovered this bench, so. Photo number one, extremely artsy, back of the bench shot. You ready? Welcome back, squad. You might be noticing something a little different compared to the last photo hikes. Mainly, I'm back to my yellow backpack. No. Nothing happened with the Endurax, it's still a good backpack, but this time around, I'm changing it up, traveling light, and only packing a point-and-shoot. Why am I only packing a point-and-shoot? Because I found a stash of film I hadn't developed in a couple of years and processed it all, all shot with this camera. There was a good gap, a good chunk of the photos that were like, just out of focus, like, not like the auto focus missed, but like something is wrong with the camera. But then like the pictures taken more recently out of that batch looked okay again for the most part. So what I'm gonna do today is take Mr. Fuji's zoom date 2.8, just have ourselves a snapshot adventure to see if it's still working fine. Which of course means I could be setting myself up for a whole bunch of disappointment if something's still wrong with this camera. That said, it is time to have a snapshot adventure now. Normally I have 12 exposures that I try to shoot for with the medium format. This time around I have thrice as many with 36. And without setting up a tripod, I can take those in like one thrice the time. So this could be a bonanza of like probably really shitty snapshots I'm gonna expose you to. So stick in with me because it's adventure time. You see that? Probably not. There's a sweet bag stuck in the tree back here. So we gotta be very quiet in street photography, this bag. There we go. Now this is fine art. So in case you're wondering about this camera, the appeal of it that initially sold me on it is that it has a zoom lens which usually is kind of like the bad point and shoots have zoom lens, but this one at the widest hits 24 millimeter focal length, which for a point and shoot is insanely wide. Not very many go that wide. When I was carrying this a lot during my basement show music scenes through days, let me get a lot of really good, dirty, grimy photographs real quick and real close. And that's pretty much why I bought it for. Today, I think the advantage of having the zoom that goes up to 50 millimeters is definitely going to play into my favor should the opportunity arrive to street photography a deer. I'm gonna call this one end of season. Ready? Oh, beautiful. That's gonna win me a camera club award, that's for sure. Here's to a perfectly good hill climb in my near future. I sure do pick the good roads, don't I? Well, shit, I guess I'm done. I hit the finish line. Look at these cute little mushrooms. I think they're worthy of a snap. Let's just go crazy and seal your frame by not aiming. It's all the pros work, right? Look at this. We got ourselves some gnarly roots. I'm gonna call this one the roots of oppression. Whew. I think I need to just keep getting darker and more metal lyrics with the title of everyone that I shoot from here on out. It's one of the other features of this camera I really came to appreciate is that it's like the world's greatest film camera for taking selfies. 
It's got a little mirror you can see your face in, but it also has this red light. If you can see that light, you're in the picture. But on top of all that, not one, but two shutter buttons. So if you're like this, and your friend comes on the right and you need to hug him, you can just switch to this hand and selfie away. Pretty, pretty neat little piece of tech that I really enjoy. Oh God, another bench. I'm gonna, two. I'm gonna wet myself if I do another one of those bench shots. That was too artsy the first time. Look at these cobwebs, holy shit. Oh man. I'm gonna call this one the webs of dark desire. If you're in a metal band and are looking for like naming your album and need an album art picture to go with it, hit me up. I'll sell you any of these real cheap. Big oof here, one of the Blaze Trail Cheese. Trail, trail trees fell down, but I think we need to get some blue on green action here. Let's put some of these white things in the front of the scene. It's gonna, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that one the blazes of death. Rusty ass mailbox, I mean, Correspondence from hell. Oh man, look at this bench. We've got like rotted wood. Let's get in real close. Get some mossy wood. Call that one like all that is becomes was. Fuck yeah, some tree platform thing. Um, how about we call that one? Oh shit, look at this cluster of mushrooms. <clears throat> it's a deer, it's a deer. It's a deer. Come this way, deer. Oh. Street photography of deer time, perhaps. charged and die, just watch. No, come back, buddy, buddy. Oh, he went down a hill. And I am currently not up for going down a hill. Looks like someone's been a busy beaver or termites or something. That tree is doomed. Birds with the paint. That's nice. We're gonna, we're gonna focus on the birds with the pa paint. Serious face. Mm. The deer. There's two deer. Oh my god. They don't seem to know I'm here. Ambush them if they walk across. This deer is taking forever. Are they like 
dinosaurs, or if you move slow, they can't see you. I'm not sure. I'm not a deerologist. Oh, he's coming to me. Oh, look, this deer likes me. Looks like a deer that wants to kick my ass if I get any closer. So where he's gonna creep away. I wave. Got one shitty picture of it. <laughs> it's still staring at me like, get away from my babies. Ah, what beautiful scenery. Look at that. Although, I took a picture from this spot with my 8x10 camera like eight years ago. That was far more interesting. So I'm just gonna show that instead. <laughs> gotcha. You thought this could be all 35 millimeter? You were wrong, bitch. Let's go. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta find a route to the bottom of this big cliff without dying. Well, I guess this trench is my way out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Think I could jump from one to the other? Here we go. Just kidding. And welcome back to humanity. Let's walk through this tall grass, get us some ticks. Should have had any ticks yet. That's been impressive. And now we do the rest of this trip urban style. Look at this beautiful hydrant. Perfect fall colors, right? Right here, right here. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Mm. Oh, sad, a missing cat. She's a beautiful muted calico with extra toes. Oh, missing. I've seen pet photos always take me down a notch. Especially when they're old like this and like, you don't know if it's still up because the animal's gone or they just, the cat came back the very next day, thought he was a goner, and they just never took down the sign because they totally forgot. <laughs> Outhouse in front of a church. What does that say about society? Everything. Stop. Fall colors. The perfect photograph. I'm not using the zoom enough on this. We're gonna, we're gonna zoom in and back up. Oh, oh, that's too zoomed. Okay, right there. Oh, is a car coming too? Epic. Epic Americana. People have been talking about that photo for decades. So fun fact. If it weren't for those shoes, this basketball hoop would fall right over. The stone helps, but it's the shoes that make the weight the proper balance. Which means we need to honor these shoes with the snapshot. Epic. One frame left. What's it gonna be? Why a kitty? Well, that was a fun adventure, wasn't it? Indeed, it seems that many of the photos I shot, the camera had trouble focusing where it should have focused. So in the future, I'm probably not going to be comfortable using this camera for anything serious. But on the plus side, I now get to join the new tradition of spending a whole bunch of money on a plastic point and shoot camera, and then like being the one who's owning it when all the electronics finally start shitting the bed and it doesn't work anymore. Yeah! 
Also, a uh, shout out to my friends in the metal band Torment for providing me some of the banging tracks you heard during this video. Because my subscription service, when I searched for heavy metal, all it would give me was like butt rock, and that was indeed not heavy enough. So, if you want to check them out, check the, the description for links to their stuff, and, and yeah. yeah. If you made it this far and you're not subscribed, subscribe, and I'll be back again with another hike uh, someday in the future. Later.